Hey you guys, welcome back to Angela's Aging Essentials. I have got my hair pulled back, no makeup on my face. The only thing that I have done is cleansed my skin, but I wanna share a current AM skincare regimen with you all. Now I'm 42 years old, I have combination skin, <clears throat> it does sometimes tend to be oily. I don't typically have dry skin, but that's because the ingredients that I look for in my skincare products are emollients and humectants, and those keep me hydrated and moisturized. If you are somebody who has hyperpigmentation or melasma, such as myself, you can see the hyperpigmentation and melasma on my forehead. Um, this is caused from hormones, sun damage, age spots, it all just kind of comes together. And what melasma and hyperpigmentation is, is it's the melanin in your skin that darkens and causes you to have, you know, dark spots. I have a video really breaking down what melasma and hyperpigmentation is. So if you're somebody that deals with that, I recommend you watching that video. But with that said, keep in mind that for my AM and my PM, I always incorporate products that are going to you know, block that enzyme that produces the melanin. So, this is a very affordable skincare regimen. Some of the products, you know, are definitely more expensive the, uh, than others. If I ever share a product with you guys that's over $50, I will always do my best to find an alternative to that product. You know, we're, most all of us are on a budget and I don't ever want to share something with you guys and you ever think that you just need to run out and buy it. I just really want to let you guys know what products I have used that have been very beneficial to my skin. So let's just jump right into it. I've already cleansed my skin. I rotate between cleansers that I use. I never spend a lot of money on a cleanser. After all, I'm putting it on my face and I'm washing it down the sink. So if you are looking for a cleanser, then look for one that is going to leave your face feeling hydrated and moisturized. If you use a cleanser and then your face feels dry, that's not a cleanser that you should continue to use because it's stripping the oils off of your skin barrier and that's never a good thing. You always want your skin to feel like it's moisturized and not dry. <clears throat> The first thing I do after I cleanse my skin is I put on some type of product for my melasma and hyperpigmentation. This is the product that I have currently been using and I'm not even gonna try to say the name of it right here because I'm going to butcher it to pieces when I do, but I'll link this down below and I just refer to this as the Lotion P50 Pig M400. I know I'm not saying this correct. I love this product because, um, first of all, it comes in several different sizes. Um, this is the 1.7 ounce, and I believe this is around $30. Um, this has a water-like viscosity. If you guys see me looking over to the right, it's because I have notes. This has niacinamide, lactic acid, fermented extracts, mandelic acid, plant and fruit extracts, salicylic acid, this exfoliates, hydrates, and moistens the skin. This does it all. This is a product that I will forever, ever use. Now, I just put a couple of drops in my hand. It does not take much. And I just get it on my fingertips and I really focus where I have my melasma and hyperpigmentation. And I really spend some time getting it rubbed in on those areas This is a beautiful product. It absorbs into the skin, you know, really, really quickly. And it doesn't ever leave my skin feeling sticky or tacky. But you just really want to take the time to make sure that you're getting this rubbed in to the skin. You know, you want this to be able to go down into the dermis to help fight off that melanin. Next, I like to use this product from The Ordinary. This is the Matrixel 10% plus hyaluronic acid. This is $11.50 and you get three milliliters. This has glycerin, Matrixel, hyaluronic acid, peptides. It targets fine lines, wrinkles. It's very lightweight, absorbs beautifully. And I love this so much because 
I, the next product I'm going to share with you guys after this one, they almost, it's like a, you know, getting married. They just mesh together and it's absolutely beautiful. So I just take about a dropper, half of a dropper full, not much. And I just put this all over. I really make sure to get it under my eyes good, on my eyelids. It's never irritated my eyes. <clears throat> it's very hydrating, it's very moisturizing. The next product is my eye cream. Now, I use an eye cream because I'm 42. I have hollowness, I have crepiness. Um, you know, my skin under my eyes tends to get drier than er other areas of my face. This product has changed my under eyes, you guys. This is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. Get this on Amazon. It's $17. You get one ounce. This is a game changer. I will forever use this eye cream. Now, this has no artificial fragrance in it. It's very creamy. It has peptides, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and this also has a product that's called Galactomyas. Now what that is, is it helps absorb, uh, it helps absorption. It helps skin cells produce hyaluronic acid. This also has a probiotic and fermented bifida. Now, the reason why I like to use this after I use this, the Matrixel plus hyaluronic acid, is because when you put that hyaluronic acid and Matrixel product under your eyes, we rubbed it all over all over our face, and then we put this under our eyes because this has that galactomyas in it, which helps product absorption, then it just, it's a win-win. So this is just very, very creamy. You know, you wanna make sure that you're being really gentle whenever you're dealing with your eyes. You know, don't be pulling and tugging on your eyes. I mean, the skin there is already not good, so you don't want to do anything that's going to cause it to be worse. But I do also put this on my eyelids. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous eye cream. It absorbs almost instantly into those under eyes. And you guys, to be $17, this is comparable, if not better than $100 eye creams that I have used. This is just so, so good that I just, anybody, since I've been using this, anytime anybody, friends or family, ask me about skincare, I always recommend this to them. That Galactomyas is a product that I wish every skincare brand used because like I was telling you guys, it helps your skin produce hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is what is going to give your skin elasticity. It's going to help with collagen. And it also has that fermented bifida in it. So it is just, it, it's a beautiful, beautiful product. Next, I put on my vitamin C. Currently, I am using up this little sample that I got. This is from SkinCeuticals. This is the Silly Marin CF. Now, I have bought the full size of this because I really, really like it. This is... $169 for one ounce. It's it's pricey. Um, you know, I will make sure to... The Timeless brand, 20% vitamin C plus ferulic acid, I absolutely love as well. I'm just trying to use this up. And I had a coupon that I could not say no to, which is why I bought the full size. But if you're looking for a good vitamin C, go with the Timeless because it is amazing. Now, really quick, this is fragrance-free. It's a very watery consistency. It has 5% ferulic, 5% salicylic, 5% the Silly Marin, which is milk thistle. It has 15% L-ascorbic acid. This is great for blemishes, acne. It absorbs into the skin so beautifully, and it does not feel tacky. And this also works really well with my other skincare products. So, I just use five or six drops 
and I just dab it and just make sure to do a little dab all over. I love this so much. It has definitely, definitely improved my skin because it has all those acids in it. You know, some people, um, it's so controversial because some people, you know, don't recommend, and I'm not a dermatologist, you guys, like I, I don't know anything. Um, but it's very controversy because a lot of people say that you shouldn't use a lot of acids. For me, you know, acids are something that I love to use, whether AHA or BHA, I absolutely love acids. Acids have really helped the skin texture that I have, the skin tone that I have. They've also really tightened my skin up. So acids are always something that I look for in products. Um, you know, they're going to exfoliate your skin, but they're going to hydrate and moisturize your skin at the same time. And the last product before my sunscreen is going to be my absolute holy grail. I'm to the bottom of the barrel on this one, but I actually have one in my mailbox that I need to go and get. This is from the brand Stratea. This is called their liquid gold, and that's exactly what it is. It's liquid gold. Now, you get, they sell two sizes of this, it comes in a two ounce for $27 and a four ounce for $49. This is good for all skin types. This has niacinamide, rosehip oil, squalene, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, fatty acids, glycerin. This moistens the skin's barrier. It's very soothing. It melts into the skin. It's very lightweight. This is such a luxurious product for the price. Now, I just take... I can't believe I'm still being able to get it out of here because you guys can see, I mean, this color starts down here and then it just goes up. But I just put this all over. Now, if you've ever smelled A&D ointment, for all my mamas out there, I'm sure you have. Um, this smells really similar to A&D ointment. Now, it's not the texture but it does smell very similar to A&D ointment. This is so, so extremely soothing to the skin. It just rubs in so beautifully. You know, I've never had any issues using this. This goes so well with all of my other skincare ingredients. Nothing in the world is worse to me. I keep hitting my throat and changing my voice. But, I mean, this is dramatic, but it's true. It's a, it's a pet peeve, and I can't stand it. You know, when I have put on all of my skincare, I've put on my sunscreen, and then I go to put my makeup on, and I get that peeling, that balling, and it just turns into a oopy goopy goppy mess. All of the products that I have shared with you today, that does not happen. Any type, and I have several sunscreens that I kind of rotate through, um, I'm pretty consistent on what makeup I wear, but I have changed it up just to be able to see how well it works with this regimen. I have never had the peeling or the balling from these specific products used with any sunscreen that I have tried or any type of makeup that I have tried. So thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me today. If you ever have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. If you have any recommendations, please also let me know those. When I hit 50 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Some of the products I talked about today are going to be included in that giveaway. So be sure and subscribe. Give me a like. Don't forget to smash the bell so you'll be notified when I do update a video. I hope you guys have a wonderfully blessed weekend. Thanks again.